Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are in for a treat. We are finally going to go through everything that I purchased for our Sephora VIB sale. It is still happening. Um, I was able to get mine started early just because I was a Rouge member and I got really lucky. I was able to find everything, everything but one thing at my actual Sephora. The one thing I wasn't able to pick up was the Dyson Styler. I have finally given in to the fact that now I really want this Dyson Styler and I can't find it. It's always out of stock and whatever. I pick up skincare, I picked up perfume, and I picked up makeup. If you guys are new to my channel, I welcome you to hang out. My name is Steph and let's get to it. Uh, so the first item I picked up is my perfume. And this was definitely something that was not necessarily something I needed. This is the Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. This is the Stiletto Heel. The reason I purchased this was because, like I said in my intro, I could not get the Dyson Air like Styler. And I went into store and I and then I looked online and they didn't have it, whatever. So I was like feeling the need to splurge on something. And this was definitely next on my list of things that I didn't need necessarily, but I was like, mm, I'm sad. I want to get something. Let's get this. It was actually something that was turned on to me by my daughter because I had seen this perfume. I just have never really cared for it. I am a avid brand lover of certain perfumes. Like I always just go to two or three different brands and I call it good. So I don't really ever mingle around the perfume section but my daughter's like mom smell this and i was like oh my god you smell incredible what is it and she's like it's this and i was like oh i need it so i ended up picking this one up I'll show you guys how beautiful this is it was definitely a toss-up between two of these perfumes i think it was this one and then i want to say the one that has the red um underneath on it but oh my gosh it's refreshing i guess the best way to say it it's got like this citrus scent to it very refreshing very, in my opinion, very daytime appropriate. A little whiff goes a long way. Very classic. It doesn't feel too girly. It's very modern is how I like to put it, but fresh. One reason why I like wanted to buy it was I was like, oh my God, this would be so beautiful on my jewelry stand. But come on, can we not? Like so gorgeous. I did stop in the skincare section and I stopped in Inky List to see what was new. I don't have a whole lot from Inky List just because I always tend to just purchase from the ordinary, but we're gonna try it out. The first one I got is the Retinol Eye Cream. And then the next one I picked up, I was going to get the Poly, the Proteiny Peptide one from Drunk Elephant. It was actually in my basket and I get it every time they have their Sephora VIB sale or like another sale at, you know, Sephora, whatever. Anyways, moral of the story is that I came across this one and it's the Peptide Moisturizer, best for dry skin. Do I have dry skin? No, but my skin's kind of all over the place right now. So I'm like, whatever, I'm gonna try it. It's just a few bucks and I'm excited. I'm hoping this is like a nice little dupe for it, but we'll see. All right, next up I have, oh, I did pick up another perfume. I forgot. Um, as I was exiting, I came across the little travel section and my daughter knows that I'm a huge fan of Marc Jacobs and I don't know that I have this and I have to go through and check my other perfumes, but this is the Daisy Love by Marc Jacobs. And I was like, what? And I'm a huge fan. Marc, uh, Marc Jacobs perfumes are, I think like my top three favorite perfumes. I have a bunch of their perfumes. I just like the way that they smell. They last very well on my skin and they always work very well. So this is the Daisy Love. It's very similar, like all the packagings from Marc Jacobs, very, very similar. So it's easy to get lost in which scent you like. But this one is a little bit more girly. When I smell it, I smell more of like an orangey citrus scent, very springtime a little bit more feminine, um, very much more appropriate for spring than anything. Like I probably wouldn't use this in the fall. It's got like that signature spring scent. Does that make sense? I'm not very good at describing scents, but I'll do my best. So now we're moving into makeup. The first thing I picked up is a foundation and I did go in and finally pick up the Pat McGrath Sublime Fetish foundation, whatever, Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. So I ended up picking up the shade Light Medium number 13. I think it was just a, a tad, it's just a tad darker than where I'm at right now, but I think I'll be okay with it. And it has been so long since I played around with it that I kind of forgot which foundation to choose. So I'm like, whatever, I'll just buy it. It's too dark, 
I'll just return it and get the shade lighter. But being that I kind of cleaned out my entire foundation section and I'm doing a whole bunch of new foundations, this was definitely something that was on my list, on my radar to pick up. So I picked that up. This was like a last minute, like I need it kind of a thing. I saw somebody else do a haul and she bought this and it was the iconic London Skin Glow Duo. It's a little bright, a little bright for my taste, this pink. But when I saw it on her skin, I was like, okay, I can, I can make that work. So it comes with the blush and then a highlighter. And I want to say that the blush looks more intimidating in the pan than it does on the skin. Like once I swatched it, yes, it's bright, but I don't think it's going to be super bright. But then the highlight was just absolutely beautiful. So that is what I picked up. This is in Coral Glow. There was another one to choose from and I wanted to pick it up, but they were sold out. So I was like, whatever, I'll just get this one. I did pick up another one of the Maracuja loop juicy lippy things. I picked up one of these. These are one of my absolute favorite products from Tarte right now. The best way to describe them is between like a lip balm and a lip gloss. So it's got that like balm texture where it's very hydrating. So it has that little bit more of that hydration that you want from it. It's got the coloring in it, so it's definitely wearable by itself. It's just a really good lip product. I ended up going in with the shade Peachy Beige. I actually have quite a few of the other ones. And let me just show you, because this is the one that I always keep down here. This is one of the first ones I picked up. This is Hibiscus. It's got more of that pink tint to it. You do have to be a little careful when you apply it because the product is so soft that you can easily get really heavy ham with it. This is the shade I picked up. It's more of a beige tone, more of just a nude lip. You would definitely appreciate that. And like I said, I just kind of dab it right in the center and then I, you know, pucker my lips because again, you can get a lot of product if you're not careful with this because it's so soft in the formula. This is such a good product. If you guys haven't tried these, you definitely have to. Oh, did you guys also see that Sephora was doing their 30% off of like their Sephora tool or their Sephora collection? So I wanted to pick up something from Sephora because they were having that like extra 30. So I ended up picking up this, which is the number 64 Pro Brush Foundation. I wanted the one that you use for underneath your eyes, but of course they were sold out. So I just went in with the Pro Brush. And the reason I bought this product is because, let me show you, I finally got my hands on the Flawless Filter. This was definitely something that I was very nervous to pick up. I ended up just getting the mini one of this and I got the shade 4.5. Now, I personally would have liked to have gotten the shade, I believe it was shade four, but I didn't want to splurge on a really big one on it because I didn't know if I would care for it. And in the minis, they only make certain shades. So there was a lady there that was working and it sounded like she had worked specifically for like Charlotte Tilbury. And I was like, do you got anything else? And she's like, no, she's like, these things have been going off the shelf. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna get this one. She's like, I would put you in that shade anyways. And I'm like, I really have no choice because this is the only one available. So we're gonna try it. I have been using it now for about a solid week and I freaking love it. Being that I'm combo skin and I get really oily throughout the day sometimes, if I don't prep correctly, this stuff made it perfect. Some glows that I put on underneath my foundation throughout the day, I feel like they will come through and then my skin looks super oily and this one definitely doesn't do it. This one gives like that nice glow, very healthy, very luminous. I would definitely say that I would probably, I think one day I even just put this on kind of all over my face, spot concealed, um, and then put like a light foundation on and it was gorgeous. Like by the end of the day, it was almost all ran through, but nonetheless, like it just looked healthy. And so far I'm enjoying it. And then they threw in some samples. So they threw in this restore mask from Living Proof. It is my birthday month. I wasn't super pumped about some of the items that we got to choose from for our birthday month this month, but whatever. I ended up picking up the Tatcha um, it comes with the rice cleaner and then the dewy skin cream and the liquid canvas. And I will tell you that 
my husband and I were together and it was my husband who was like, get this one. And I was like, why? And he's like, cause I love, love this collection. And I was like, really? And he was using the rice wash and he really liked it. And so I'm like, all right. So I picked it up. I picked up one more thing from the Sephora sale and it is the Natasha Denona I Need a Rose Lipstick. This was actually a lipstick that I had had in my last Sephora sale and I ended up at the last minute before I checked out just like mixing it. Came across this lipstick and I was like, this is meant to be. And like I said, this is the I Need a Rose Lipstick in the shade 12.5 NB Cala. Look at this freaking shade. So they did have the matching lip liner to go with it, but I was like, I've got so many lip liners. I definitely don't need to pick up a lip liner. This is my style. This is my favorite type of lipsticks. And I think I'm gonna fall in love with it already. And that is everything I picked up, you guys. So I feel like I got a good array. I got the skincare, I got the perfume, and I got some makeup. Um, a lot of basics, but still items that I really am excited about. So thank you so much for watching today's video. This is my Sephora VIB Rouge, whatever, VIB sale haul. I do have an Ulta haul that is also coming up that is massive. So that will come on before I'm actually after this video. So make sure to keep an eye out. I also did just upload my BoxyCharm and my Ipsy. If you guys haven't checked those out, those are fairly very new. So make sure to check those out. If you are interested in any of the products I picked up or um, shade numbers or whatever, I will have it listed in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and spending just a few minutes of your time watching my little video. I will see you guys all in my next video. Make sure to turn on those notifications if you guys haven't yet. And also make sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new to my channel. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.